it's fun. It's like a family down <laughs> here. We have we have a lot of fun down here. It's a peaceful atmosphere, right? Yeah, yay! It's a peaceful atmosphere. It's good here. And you meet friends, right? Yes. The intabulous. <laughs> That's a good word. I find it's family. Creative. Got it. Amazing. Inclusive. First year of doing my master's at Western in the visual arts department, and uh, <clears throat> I just wasn't really interested too much in studio practice, as in the artist being in the studio making things. I was a, a lot more interested in what was going on politically, and also I, I have an activist background too, so. I started to read about artists who are using community art as a way to bring people together, as a kind of activist um, method. The executive director of the Arcade was uh, willing to take a chance on a, on a community arts program in the building here, and it just took off from there. Uh, when Jeremy called, he just wanted to do something with people. I thought, well, this will get at you know people's abilities and talents and. Maybe we can express back to the community, hey, we're here and we have valuable things to say. We do have talents, we can contribute. And, uh, you know, let's uh, come down and see what uh, you can do. I mean, it wasn't. How long have I been doing here? Oh, two months. Two months. Since May 2011. And I started August the 20th. It's pretty much the inception, like since we were upstairs in the fireside room. Painting on the pool table, covered on, covered with a tarp. Two years. I've been here ever since it started. It's a freedom. It's a lot of opportunity for expression. The way to express yourself, and the best part of it is, you can't get yourself into trouble. Meet other people and all that. The fact that it's a routine. Like it's always here. It's a very good way to get rid of stress. Playing with the clay, with the paint, doing what I can do. Well, it's therapeutic for me. The men march. It's a good place to meet people, and it's a good place to just chill, relax. Then you get an, you know, give you an opportunity to come out and do art, to socialize. I love art. Gives me, it keeps me out of trouble and gives me something new. It's constructive as opposed to being destructive. Many, many people have said that this is a very therapeutic thing. It helps them work through issues, it helps them work through emotions, or work through feelings, or work through situations in their life that are sometimes just out of their control. So they, they know they, they can come to a creative, safe space and get support and explore their creativity and, you know, just just mess around with materials. People make new friends and get stay out of trouble and do something with my hands. Turn, like, negative thoughts and emotions into something positive. It's calm down my anger. Seeing um, people just go from feeling very insecure not feeling like they've ever done anything like painting before um, and very unsure to incredibly confident to selling their artwork to uh, being asked for their artwork um, and having things put out on um, in some of the art shows and that kind of thing is incredibly empowering for Well I think on the participants themselves, the people that are there, uh, many of them have found new talent they didn't know that they had. There's the joy of creativity and expression, even if it's just for yourself, that uh, you know, I, I did that, I can express myself in a new way. Of course, with the shows and sales that we've had, people actually get some income. So to me, that's a huge thing if somebody comes in and gives somebody who's on welfare 
uh, and say, I like your work, here's $50. That, that, that $50 is, is valuable in and of itself. And what it says to somebody, you know, their self esteem and stuff, that's even worth more. I feel like I'm a part of something. So, uh, more for uh, self expression than anything else. Well, if you didn't have the supplies, you wouldn't be able to do any of the fine work that people do and express their feelings. Because everything down here is donated. Uh, but we need more canvases, paints, paintbrushes, some art supplies. New school is, is flourishing and many of the artists are flourishing. Um, the whole program is funded by uh, donations, it's also funded by grants from different uh, granting bodies such as Trillium and uh, London Community Foundation, that sort of thing. Those, those sorts of agencies are what funds the new school. So quite often we are asking community members for um, art supplies as donations uh, because they are pretty expensive and a lot of people utilize them and, and it's what you know what keeps us going so if, uh, if we could get anything from, from donations on that kind of uh, you know deal then definitely paint and clay paintbrushes canvas all that type of stuff would be greatly greatly appreciated and utilized.